Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. In this video, we will present our project on a smart management system for indoor gardening. We are from group 5 which is supervised by our mentor Dr. Anas Abdurrahman. Now, let me introduce our team members. This is our leader, Low Wei Chek. This is Nor Fatin Adina. This is me, Nor Ain Shafika. This is Anas Hakimi. And this is Hussam Mahmoud. Okay, now let us discuss what is meant by a smart management planting system. A smart management planting system is defined as a method of managing natural resources in the correct way and reduce the wastage of resources during the plantation process. So, who are involved in this smart management planting system? Of course, the home planter. Home planter is defined as a person who, who own or managing the plantation in their home site. Home planter can be housewife or anyone who have interest in the gardening. Okay, next, let us discuss on how a smart management planting system works. A smart management planting system can lowering the water waste by reducing, by converting and cycling the grey water to be used in the watering the plants by and by adoption of ICT user can easily monitor their crops okay next I will discuss on the problem faced by the user a smart system for precision farming should be ease the consumer to carry out the agricultural activity at their home Unfortunately, the consumer, especially home planter, unable to exploit from it. This is mainly due to high capital needed for a smart management system to be operated. Besides that, the natural resources in our country is sufficient enough for us to supply the, manage, the smart management planting system. However, the natural resources such as water, such such as water is wasted due to management of non-systematic manners. Next, the consumer also faced the problem on the time constraint for taking care of their plants. The consumer may not be their home when they are on their vacation, so this will cause the plant to wither up. Then, the agriculture is very vulnerable to pesticides. Every consumer wants to get the proper nutrient from the vegetable that are free from pesticides. The nutrient contamination by insecticides can be avoided if the consumer uh, plants their if the the vegetable cultivation is done by by the user himself. Okay, now let us take a look on the objective of this project. The aim of this project is to design a smart management planting system which is suitable to be used in the personal home site. The objectives are set in this project are first is to build a farming system that is practicable for home planter. Second, is to optimize the water resources by method of water recycling. Next, is to create a system which allow user to manage and monitor their plan by using ICT. For scope in this smart management system for indoor gardening, first one is analyze the problem that is faced by home planter based on the current technology use. Second, employing embedded technology based on Arduino, the wireless sensor nodes, 
are designed and implemented. Third, the system can be included with a greater sensor like metal and sound sensor in order to make the agricultural intrusion free. The fourth, the target is for small mid for small medium plants and this device is applicable for domestic use only. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Anas Hakimi bin Anas Hafiz. So I would like to continue our presentation slide. Let me start with uh, let me start with our designs designs of market survey. So this survey was conducted using a questionnaire. Questionnaire, as you know, questionnaire is a set of questions that are created with a purpose of gathering information and also for the statistical study. For a market survey purpose, this questionnaire has four sections. We are demographic profile, general overview, problems and solutions. The questions in this survey are mixed like scale, multiple choice question and some close ended question. This survey intend to gather information of gardening practice among home planter in Malaysia. So next I will proceed uh, with uh, survey analysis. What is survey analysis? Survey survey analysis is uh, about our uh, project plant. A survey had been conducted to collect the customer needs and the requirements for the purpose of obtaining reliable data. So our project is based on our survey which uh, to follow our customer requirements. So it's uh, around, uh, we have uh, take uh, 160 respondents from various backgrounds have been collected for these projects. We pass uh, the surveys uh, around uh, people around in Perlis. So next is uh, move on onto the problem facing during the indoor plant station process. So in this slide, you can see the we have come out with the six statements of problems that always uh, always occur in the plant plantation process. So the first one is the water resources in Malaysia are not sufficient for planting process. Second one is the clean water is hard to obtain for the planting process. The third one is water resource are wasted during the planting process. The fourth one is the plants may be neglected sometime due to time constraints. The fifth one is the time taken for monitoring the planting process is too long. The, the sixth one, the planting process is not easy especially for those without any knowledge in planting. So from this, uh, you can see the rating is from 1 to 5 which 1 is strongly disagree and 4 is strongly agree. From uh, this uh, table, you can see that most of our respondents is agree on the fault, the problems on number four, which is the plants may be neglected sometimes due to time constraint because they have not enough time to wash and to wash the uh, their plants. So for the next is uh, the next slide is our solutions taking to overcome the problems. So from the uh, so for the solution we have eight solution which is uh, the first one is the cost should be affordable the second is able to minimize water waste wastage the third one it should be easy to use the fourth one it should have a long life expectancy the fifth one it should have a low maintenance cost the sixth one it should be able to be operate without any guardians the seventh it should be easy to set up the eighth it should be able to be used on variety of plants so from this you can see that most of our respondents have most important on our solution is on the able to minimize water wastage which means so me and my team have come out with the solution which is we use the grey water actually the grey water is from our house uh, we use the grey water to cycle it uh, we, we put the filter to filter the, the grey water to clean water and and then to the tank which is on the tank from the tank uh, it will distribute the water to our plants. Last presentation slide which is a simple 2D animation. As you can see in this slide, it will show the flow of our products. First, it will go to grey water. What is a grey water? Grey water is all the waste water in household from steam without focal contamination. So, uh, the source of grey water includes sinks, shower, bath or a dishwasher. So next it will go to water wheel tanks and then if it will go to the filter, the filter will turn the grey water to the clean water and then it will go to the tank before uh, that uh, the tank will contribute the water, the clean water to the plants. 
So uh, onto the next uh, slide, it will, it, it, it will show our short uh, videos animations for our products. I hope you all can enjoy. Welcome to the new era of indoor gardening. I think I want to start gardening, but I don't have much time to take care of the plants. Wait, I think I got idea to manage your plant. Let me go inside and create a smart planting system for you. How can I save grey water? Mm, I think I need to supply this grey water for my garden. So this is our animation for our products. The water flow to the water wheel, it will rotate 360 degree. Then the filter will turn into the green. So the water tanks will contribute the green water to the plants. So that's all from our teams. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Hussam Mahmoud Ismail Wahib and I'm going to present three parts of our project. First of them, the methodology, second, the house of quality, and third, the concept design of our project. And now let's start with the methodology. The methodology of our project, as you can see in the slide, we identify the problem. After that, we collect the survey requirement from 160 person of people after that we generate our idea for the project and what should we do and what we need after that we make the configuration design for our project by dividing the task for the, the group uh, each member has task to make the configuration for this design then we made the project architecture for the project with the concept evaluation and the parametric design then we made the prototype design and we discussed the prototype design after that we decided to make our uh, project prototype uh, by simulation and we decided to use solid work and ANSYS uh, programming and here design specification we have in this section concept design and house of quality and we will start with the house of quality but before that we have a classification for the smart management planting system so as you can see the data are collected from uh, these people uh, for the requirement solution for a smart management planting system also this data help us to make the important weight factor to make the calculation uh, and after that we can make the comparing between the engineering characteristic and customer requirement here the calculations for important weight factors for the feedback respondent to the solution and here this is the house of quality of our project as you can see this is the customer requirement here and also the engineering characteristic in the other uh, side with the important weight factor which we collected from the feedback of respondent people and we have here the concept design it is the second part from the uh, design specification section and there are four concept design that have been sketched with their own uh, details first concept this concept uh, it's considered uh, the undershot water as a main component and you can see the other parts of this concept such as spur gear, salt water battery and so on. There is still a limitation for this concept and this limitation is the undershoot water wheel is need a large quantities of water uh, moving at the speed. By comparing for the concept to the main component is the leaded acid battery and you can see the overshoot water wheel. Uh, also the different uh, components such as LED and tube vent but the limitation for concept 2 is the overshoot water wheel need to build as large as possible to heat the resistant gravitational weight of the water 
uh, and that will be expensive and will increase the cost of this product third concept in this concept pitch back water wheel is implemented to convert the potential energy of gray water to the kinetic energy and this is the generator of this concept but there is also still the limitation of this concept and the limitation of this concept is you need a complex water supply that will arrange arrangement directly above the water in the concept for the breast shot is a wheel is implemented water wheel uh, rotates uh, the shaft of the shaft of the DC of the DC motor by using the chain and the sprocket uh, there is a limitation in this concept the limitation is the gravitational weight of the water is only used for about one quarter of the rotation if we look for the table weight decision matrix here the weight factors so uh, our uh, rating for all these concepts uh, we found the, uh, the, the highest uh, value of the rating for the concept 3 uh, our rating for all these concept we selected design concept number 3 because the criteria for uh, this concept uh, reach for the high value for the house of quality the most uh, advantage for this concept it's uh, convert potential energy for the kinetic energy by using gray water uh, and this will consider the generator second advantage for this concept um, the pitch back water wheel is that is used the energy for the water twice that's mean when the water come from up and the water come also from down to rotate the wheel around its central axis and this is I uh, isometric view of selected design concept for our project that was the concept design and isometric view uh, for our project now my friend will continue with his part Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hi my name is Nur Fatin Adina binti Ibrahim I'm from mechanical engineering today I will present my part which is the chapter 6 the embodiment design but I will focus on the uh, key subsystem and the protease simulation. In our smart management panty system, we have six key subsystems overall. First one is the water wheel free energy system, air circulation system, water circulation, circulation system, uh, the filtration of grey water system, uh, electrical supply system, and uh, electronics. For the first key subsystem uh, in our system design, uh, which is the water wheel free energy system, which consists of two pulleys which is connected by the timing belt, and the grey water is uh, act as uh, the main water source, and after that, uh, the falling force of the grey water push the pedals, and the wheel will rotate, and it does generate the power this is how our water wheel free energy system working next uh, water circulation system in this system it consists four main components which are water tank pipes gutter and mesh and the water tank used for used to store the clean water after the filtrated here i will show you how the simulate simulation working as you can see here uh, here uh, we can see that the potential meter shows 45% means that the water tank level fill with 55% of water therefore the water does not pump to the tank and after that we try to increase it to 46 and then uh, the water pump is on and it will pump to the tank Next, the solenoid valve for the soil moisture sensor. I will show you the protease simulation here. As uh, we can see here that the potential meter show forty nine percent. This means that the soil moisture is at fifty one percent. Therefore, the valve is off and closed. The the water will uh, will not flowing to the pot. And after that, we try to increase to fifty one percent. And we can see that the 
valve will open and the water will flow to the port. After that, uh, the air circulation system. In this system, we implemented to control and monitor the air movement. In this system, also we use the exhaust fan. Uh, it working when the temperature is high and the fan will open to reduce the hot air. Uh, here I will show you the protein simulation uh, of the exhaust fan. In this system, in this protein system, we can see that the fan now is off because the indoor temperature now is 30 degrees Celsius. It's not above than 30. And now we try to increase it to 31. And the valve will op and the fan will, will open. Uh, and you can see that here the fan is rotating. This uh, to operate uh, the fan will operate to remove the heat. Next, the filtration of pure water. The domestic filter pack filtration has been chosen compared to the other two me others method. Uh, the purpose is to filter and contaminants and neutralize the acidity. Uh, this is why why we choose this uh, domestic filter pack filtration because it is more cheap and not expensive other compared to the other method and uh, after the filtration the water can be used for watering the plants as you can see here there are three layers there which is contain the rock sands carbon cools and others next the electrical supply system uh, the kinetic energy is transformed to electrical energy by a DC motor the electrical energy is stored in the lead acid battery as you can see there in the slide the battery acts as electrical source and supply the electricity the purpose is to support uh, the operation and the system uh, if suddenly got blackout or short current happens so it can support the operation of the our system finally it's come to the last key subsystem which is uh, electronic in the system, we have consists of two things, which are fluorescent light and uh, microcontroller. The fluorescent light uh, act as the light source for the plants. When it comes to the raining day, there will there will be no sun, so that uh, it will be will be benefit to the plant to do photosynthesis process. And after that, uh, the microcontroller it will help in controlling operation of the system and make it smooth without any tr uh, problem or, tr or trouble as you can see there uh, in the slide uh, there is uh, some example of the fluorescent light and the schematic diagram of smart management system planting system uh, this is drawn by the Proteus thank you good morning everyone I am Lu Wei Chai. I am going to present about the simulation result of our report so in this report we are using SOLIDWORKS software to simulate the result. So why we are using SOLIDWORKS to simulate instead of ANSYS? This is because the quantity of the part of our system is too much. For the ANSYS software, it cannot support too much parts. Besides that, SOLIDWORKS able to simulate the whole system and it also contains more tutorial video uh, in YouTube. Furthermore, uh, we are using SOLIDWORKS to model our product. So if we uh, continue to simulate the result using SOLIDWORKS, the source files are identical, so the result should be more precise and accurate. And the result also can directly be shown in the SOLIDWORKS. So in this report, we are using three types of simulations. Firstly, the full trajectory is used. Next, the motion study also used. And lastly, the control analysis. So we can see that the water velocity simulations. Let's see about it. So in this simulation, we can see that the water velocity decreasing from high to low. Uh, and it becomes low when the water strikes the water blade. So this indicates that the potential energy of the water is transferred into the kinetic energy of the water wheel. Okay, so this is the water pressure simulation. 
Let's see about the simulation of water pressures. Okay, we can see that the water pressure is increasing from low to high. So, uh, at the surface of the water paddles, we can see that the water, uh, the water pressure is the highest. So, this also reasonable. This is because the waters are strike on the water paddles and it show the high pressures. Uh, we also obtain the result on the surface of the water paddles uh, when the water strike on it. So this is the result obtained. So you all can see it. So we, according to the result obtained, we also calculated the force applied to the blades and also torque applied to the whole water views. So the formula and the calculation is shown in the right side. So for the force, uh, is the 3,820 newtons and for the top is 1,910 uh, newton meter. So this is the motion study that we, uh, we, the motion study we use to simulate the water views. So we can see that the water wheel is rotating and also rotating the pulley system and the pulley system will help in generating the electricity in the generator. So this generator electricity will uh, operate our whole, whole product. Okay. So the next slide is the result. So based on the motion study, the result is plotted. So we can uh, observe that for the first 72 seconds, the angular velocity shows uh, increasing trend. So after 72 seconds, the angular velocity remains constant. So this result is acceptable and reasonable. This is because when water strike on the water pedal, uh, the water wheel is static. So it starts to rotate. So the result shows it starts to rotate from zero and increasing to a steady state. This is because the water flows is constant, constantly strike on the water pedal. So this is the last simulation that we did. It showed the air flows of our indoor environment. So for the left side is a cup plot of the exhaust fan water surface. For the right side is a cup plot of mid plane of room. So by comparing these two figures, we can see that the overall air flow velocity of the left side is higher than the right side. So this is also a good result for us. This is because the exhaust fan is operating and it's helped to increase the air velocity. It shows that our concept of the whole system is correct and operate properly. So in conclusion, the smart management planting system is produced. In this project, the water recycling method is applied and also the water resource is optimized. This product is environmental friendly and except is in most of the residential site. Lastly, I, we can conclude that the objective of, of this project has achieved. So thanks for listening.